Hello, it's Dr. Rhonda Johnson, and today is Thursday, December 17th, 2020. And today I'm talking about developing your AIR strategy, A-I-R. You know, throughout this pandemic, I've been talking about having tools in your toolbox to aid you in the fight against COVID-19. Well, today is another tool in your toolbox. It's called your AIR strategy. Well, what do you mean by that? What do you mean by AIR strategy? Well, fighting COVID-19 in terms of prevention is all about for largely managing your AIR. So you want to minimize the bad AIR that you breathe in in terms of lowering your risk of breathing in air that is infected with the SARS-CoV-2 or otherwise known as the coronavirus that causes COVID-19. So how are you going to manage your air strategy? Well, through fresh air ventilation, number one. What is fresh air ventilation? It's simply the act of getting old air, indoor air out and fresh air from the outside in. And why is that important? It's because you're exchanging bad air for good air and increasing the good air, which is the outside air, can help reduce any viruses that may be airborne in your home or where you dwell. And also it helps get rid of other airborne contaminants indoors. I like to cook, and of course I like to cook uh, fish and uh, vegetables. And uh, you know, whenever I cook greens or cabbage, I always like that air. I like the window open because it helps push out some of the air. Otherwise your home will smell like fish or cabbage or greens for weeks, right? So air, when you disperse air, it makes it easier for contaminants to circulate and disperse. So if you're spending time indoors and right now with the colder weather that some of us are in, we're spending even more time indoors, which means our indoor air can become very stagnant and increase the likelihood of diseases spreading. So, I want you to also know though, I sort of have to give this disclaimer, that spending time with fresh air by itself does not totally eliminate your risk of getting COVID-19. You know, you still have to do those three W's that are the other preventive safety measures, washing your hands, watching your distance, and wearing your mask. So how do you increase your ventilation this winter, especially uh, for those of us in the cold climates. Well, folks, you gotta open the windows or screen doors as the weather allows. Use window fans or air conditioners that allow outside air intake. And again, I know it's cold for some of us and I'm not saying you have to be freezing. What I do is I open the windows up the first thing in the morning for about five good minutes, let that fresh air come in. And it actually feels good to me. Uh, and then I just periodically through the day, open up the windows and let the air exchange. And again, the greater the number of people that are indoors, the more you need to ventilate the area with outdoor air. You can also turn the bathroom fans on or the exhaust fans on the stove. So do whatever you can, do it daily, and get that fresh air in and that indoor air out. I also want you to remember the three C's. Avoid closed indoor spaces, avoid close contact situations, and avoid crowded places. Think about this as swapping air. You want to minimize your chance of swapping air with someone who is infected with COVID-19 
and they may not even know it. So if you wash your hands, you practice the three W's, wear your mask, wash your distance from others, and you practice the three C's, avoiding close contact situations, avoiding crowded places, avoiding closed indoor spaces with people outside your home, you'll help in your air management. I hope this has been helpful. Think of it as another tool in your toolbox. This is Dr. Rhonda Johnson. My views are my own. Stay safe and have a blessed day.